Hello everybody and welcome to season 2 of Carry On! This episode we are in the south of South Korea to explore lesser known places like Mokpo where we're going to be trying out exotic food like the golden Europe pork, spicy monkfish as well as a live octopus and so much more. We are going to be taking Korea's longest and tallest cable car, explore a beautiful nature reserve where we found some romantic treasures and show you how you can visit Korea and Japan at the same time. Behind the camera we've got Sha and Gaius and of course we had to bring back Singapore's number one red snow crab retriever, Nina Tan! As always, we're traveling with our favorite U-Trip because they've got the best rates in over 150 countries with no foreign exchange fees or any hidden charges. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away $500 worth of U-Trip credits to one lucky viewer. Are you ready? Welcome to the South of South Korea! We're gonna be headed to Mopo, which is about a three and a half hour dra dra <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I've just been having a very deep conversation. Okay, one more time. We're gonna be driving three and a half hours to a town called Mopo, and because it's season two, we've upgraded our ride. <laughs> Actually, since it's episode two. We need to upgrade episode two. Because season Anyhow. two. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> but look at our little minivan. This is K-pop bags. <laughs> see you Bye. Bye. Alright, see you. Oh. <laughs> we have driven 200km out of Busan and we are at Yosu Fish Market where we are having seafood. Yay! At first impression of this fish market, right? Mm. It's like a boutique fish market because there's <laughs> limited stores and yeah. well, there's only one store that sells crab. Crab, yeah. So there is actually the Alaskan king crab as well as the red snow crab. Now we got the red snow crab because it's only available in Korea. Cultivated at 16 meters under the depths of the sea for the extra sweetness. Yes, um, marine biologist of the Korea. <laughs> <laughs> also there's many other seafood. So we yeah. found a pretty uh, ajuma next to the... Is she, is she, she even I don't think she's an Ajuma I think she's just a Zetze. <laughs> the market Zetze vibes. <laughs> she's very friendly towards us and she even uh, showed us some uh, squat, squatting things like la, marine, yeah, marine yeah, life. La. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I even got to touch. <laughs> Sha also. <laughs> yeah. oh, I felt like Sha enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah but anyway, yeah, so what did we buy from the market Zetze vibes? Uh, we bought the scallops yep. and the abalones. Mm. So level one is where you buy the seafood, level two is where they cook it up for you and you can eat it. Okay, so this is the first time I had like live abalone. Yeah. And it's very tender. Yeah. It's not rubbery at all. Yeah. Very fresh and very, very sweet. Okay, final pro tip for you is once they serve you the crab with all the gooey in it, you just tell the restaurant owner to fry the rice with it and they'll know exactly what to do. All of this seafood, about 280 Singapore dollars for four people. Welcome to Aiken's tutorial on how to use YouTube. This is going to be your best travel companion because YouTube has got the best rates in over 150 countries with no foreign exchange fees or hidden charges. Plus, if you need some cash, you can draw up to 400 Singapore dollars for free every month. So how to use YouTube? Of course, you've got to download the app. Then you can top up your YouTube wallet via PayNow or by linking your debit or credit card. Here is a pro tip for you. If you are in another time zone other than Singapore and you're generating a QR code to top up your YouTube wallet, you might encounter some problem so all you got to do is change your phone settings to the Singapore time zone and that should do the trick or you can just link your account directly to your debit card and it will top up your YouTube wallet. We prefer the debit card because the credit card will incur extra charges. So there are multiple currencies that you can exchange in your YouTube wallet. All you got to do is select exchange and convert your Singapore dollar to whatever currency you want and they've increased our wallet limit to 20,000 Singapore dollars. <laughs> Just in case you're shopping in a country whose currency is not available for exchange in the YouTube app, don't worry, just pay normally because you'll still be getting the best rates at that point of time. Finally, you can pay with Apple or Google Pay and if you need to make any transfers to your friends, all you got to do is press send, key in their phone numbers and you are done. After a full day of traveling, we are finally here at Mokpo. We checked in at the Cloud Inn Hotel. 
and this place looks amazing for just 67 Singapore dollars a night. I think it's very affordable, it's yeah. very clean. Uh, I really like the toilet because the yeah. toilet seat is uh, heated and also automated. Yes. At the very same time, I think there's an area where you can have the steamer sanitizer thing. Cupboard, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's very interesting. Yeah, so it sanitizes your clothes. Like We just dream to have this at home, but it's here in this hotel. Plus a king bed, plus each of us get one room each. Are you kidding me? Yes, with that price. Yeah, so we're gonna go, of course, for Korean barbecue. The place looks very happening, even though there's not many people around, because I think it's a Monday night. And I think they're not as happening as us, because we actually like to party on a, a Monday, Monday night. night. I guess it's just us. <laughs> So we found this amazing Korean barbecue restaurant and they are serving a breed of pigs called the Golden Duroc Pig. And I love eating in Korea, right? Because you can only get ingredients like that here. And the moment you walk in from the cold winter weather and sit down, right, they straight away turn on the gas and serve this hot soup. Right, and the hot soup is so happy because like, it came from the cold. Yeah. And like, you know, like this, you know, because in Singapore, we eat Korean barbecue, yes. it's like always oh, like that. It's hot, you know, but you can get the hot soup in the cold and you walk in oh, yeah. to this place, the bug is just yes. And on top of that, right, the presentation is very special. Yeah. Usually, Korean barbecue is like just the meat, right? It's yeah. the pepper, the oil, the oil, the oil. Yeah, and the platter, you've got like your inoki mushrooms, you've got your bean sprouts, you've got your kimchi, king oyster mushrooms, and of course, you've got the golden duroc pork. Mm. And actually, I expected it to be like super like, fatty and jala. No, right. I think it's like just nice and yeah. the pork is like very, very tender. Mm. So what they do is that they cook behind first, then they out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, another thing I'm very passionate about, right? Why I love Korean food, right? It's because every bite is different. You can wrap it in the cabbage, you can wrap it in like your own permutation of ingredients here so that like every bite stays exciting and good. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. I'm so like I'm so happy. So we were just having fried rice and we decided to try as well. And I think that it's not uncommon that you know they do that after a full meal, then they might have rice and cheese. Oh my god, the cheese food though. Yeah, cheese food is amazing, but I think what we had previously was a bit too salty. So now suddenly we are like, hey, how come this is not as salty as the previous things? Oh my god, okay, Nina, are you ready? Rate this dinner at point 10. We're going to see it at the same time. Yeah. Three, three, two, one, eight, four, five. Hey, not bad, not bad. Oh my god, this meal was so good. What a great start to our trip in Korea. Is it good? Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning to you. <laughs> uh, it's a very cold and gloomy morning, and as always with carry on, right? The weather is just not in our favor. It's raining today, it's cloudy, but Challenge accepted. We are still going to make the most of it and carry on. That is right. And yeah. we are uh, currently at what area in Mokko? Uh, I have no idea. But we basically <laughs> googled this like traditional bakery. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be trying um, some of their like traditional snacks and breakfast. And you know what? If the weather doesn't hold up, okay, here's a pro tip for you. There's always food. So today I think we're going to go on a food hunt and then we're going to hopefully catch the cable car. Let's go. You can just want to eat actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Reasons why people come to Mokbo. <laughs> why? One of them is for this rock. The other of them is for the other rock beside that initial rock. Both rocks are known as the Mokbo Gabawi rock. But more importantly, we are here for 
the Lover Street with, with Story. Now, how oh, oh, you trying to fracture my wrist or what? Obviously, <laughs> obviously this story has ended. Has <laughs> never started before, lah. Okay. So Nina, I heard there's a legend that isn't about lovers with a story. Yeah, so apparently this is not about um, lovers, but rather a father and son. Oh. So one day the father was sick, mm -hmm. and then the son went out to work. Okay. One minute later he come home, the father died. Oh god. Yeah, so he bring the father's coffin to the sea, wanting to do a burial. Dude. But then he accidentally dropped the coffin in the sea. Then he wear the cut. And then he sat there and wait until he died because he felt so bad. Oh my god! And shortly after these two stones emerged, and that's why they call it the father stone and the son stone. Oh, if I could just speak on behalf of the father, mm -hmm. son, I forgive you. Let it go. And I also like to say, some people's nightmare are another person's dream. Because my mom said when she passes, she would like for herself to be scattered into the sea. So, to the sun, I would like to let you know Good job! Perhaps your father wanted to be in the sea also yeah. He wanted a sea burial It's a blessing in disguise Let the guilt go Yeah Other than that mm -hmm. um, Legend has it also Also la. La, that this looks like Mr. and Mrs. Potato's wedding <laughs> Is it? Yes, So we're here at Homey Grace Spicy Mumfish Restaurant and if you Google mumfish, it actually looks like this. I don't advise you to do it before you do it. Uh, in Singapore, right, only very few restaurants serve it. And here they serve it in a spicy sauce. Plus, we also ordered um, these like sea squirts. Try the fish. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not a fishy fish, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And the, the meat is definitely more muscular. The, the protein itself doesn't feel like it has a lot of taste. That's why I imagine they put so much sauce on it. I had the very collagen type. Uh -huh. So I think like, maybe this is a beauty dish, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, but maybe we'll see how the knife is doing in the morning. Sorry, pump. So we added these like uh, sea squirts. They put meat yolk, yolk. And they are apparently really good for your health. That's why we add like grain meal. A lot of that. No, it is so crunchy. So on first bite, you bite and just something squirts in your mouth. It doesn't really have a taste to it. It's just weird. Oh my god, I swear! Yeah. 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 I mean, I took a very big piece without knowing what it was. It. I just swallowed it. And do you even come to Korea if you do not have live octopus? Okay, this is my first time. You are my first time. Oh damn, that's nice. And my first time too for live octopus. Yeah. Okay, so this live octopus is sitting over a bit of raw beef. And it's also served with uh, Korean abalone. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, Lordy. Are you ready? No. I usually regard myself as a daring eater, but this one is really something else. It's good, right? It's really not that bad. Yeah, that's really quite good. Yeah. Uh, do you feel anything moving in your mouth? No. I feel like I never feel anything moving. Right? Definitely chewy. Very nicely seasoned with the sesame oil. Mm. And then the beef also adds this nice like meatiness. I think the live octopus itself don't really have any taste. Mm. Uh, it's more of the seasoning that comes together with it. A lot of people have like phobias that you get stuck to your esophagus and all that, but actually... I think mm. maybe we are just lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually low chance uh. But our producer said tonight it will come back uh, when it's <laughs> This is what the restaurant recommends. Mm -hmm. um, it says it that says for, here, you for you to enjoy, enjoy your life of the first dish, you should order it, it with, with the different variations. For example, for example eating it with the seaweed, seaweed or ordering the pollock roll fried rice fish and wrapping it together and eat it. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. I took a big line. Okay, let's do it. Wow! No, 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 no. Don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Wow, that's a winning combination eh. I really did not expect to like this at all. I was so skeptical and I was scared. 
I'm a convert. Right? Actually, I'm glad we tried it. Yeah. Actually, it's out of size. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. Turn the city up. I could flip a dog to a million. Sun's up, buns up. We are here at Gohado Observatory. Yes, and it's about like 500 meters away from the cable car station. It's absolutely free though. There is a bit of a uh, track. I mean, if it, it, is it carry on if we don't even track? Right? Yeah, it's a bit of a hike. hike. Like really <laughs> upward hike like that. Lah. Yeah, so over here you get really nice views, 360 views of the coastal area, the port area, it's really really beautiful and as you can see the gorgeous cable car is behind us. Right now we're gonna head to the cable cars. Yeah. We're gonna be uh, going on the crystal cabin. Ooh. Yeah, are you ready? Boshi, I'm are you, so ready. Are you scared? I am very scared. But no choice we're gonna burn anyway. I'll just interlock your hand behind. Oh okay, okay. How we got here doesn't make sense. Have patience, that will make sense. Three. So this cable car ride is 20 minutes long. This is the tallest and longest cable car in South Korea. Nina, are you alright? She stopped hosting because she's just... <laughs> she's... What was going on? Nina, look down. Hold my hand. Fellas, you know what to do. Oh yeah, I get it. <laughs> Go yeah. away! Yeah, I said, Hi, I pre-booked the, pre the crystal cabin. Then she'd be like, huh? Okay, okay really? I'm so scared! Then you look down. Look down now! It's a water! <laughs> It is such a nice view. Yeah. And I think that we'll just find without a crystal cabin actually. <laughs> I've been dared to lie down for a pic. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you really look down and like Don't try this at home. Oh, so oh. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up. I could flip a dog to a million. I don't like the bread. We have left Mokpo and we're on our way to Busan but we've made a stop right here at San Chonman Wetland I have no idea what this is about or where we're going what, do you Let know? me tell you, let me tell okay, you Okay, yes So based on my research right yeah. This is the largest reed field in Korea Oh Yeah, so like there's waves of reeds all over in one area Right And then at the very same time it's a house to 140 different species of bird, including oh. endangered species like um, hooded cream. Oh wow! If I'm not wrong, yeah. So if you're lucky, you might be able to spot some of them. Hopefully, you'll we'll see some exotic birds. Bodies. Let's go. If not, we'll only see one bird, which is again because it's a bird. Okay. Sandy, Sandy made it, guys. We found Sandy, our old drone. Just From kidding. Japan. It's not. It's not really. But we saw this. We found this drone like did and dusted on the floor. What? Somewhere I, I out can't there. even see the brand. Oh my god! Look, it's all like disintegrated. It's DJI. It's DJI. How you know? DJI, the body. Oh. I think somebody was flying it and then somebody shot it down. It's yeah. crazy. See, got the memory card now. Oh. <gasps> oh my god! We are gonna discover some big secret. <laughs> I was told by our producer guys that there's no trekking on this trip. He said, oh yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll cancel the trek so we can go back to Busan. Alas, this is the second hike today. I think right, we just accept that on a carry-on episode, there will be trekking. I swear. Sean wasn't mentally prepared, but we are still trekking. I, I swear, I swear. I, I swear I didn't know. Nobody asked you about yourself. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was told by our producer, right? Yeah. Before this carry on trip, right? Nothing! Not even flight details! <laughs> <laughs> nothing! I was only told 10 30 C4, no flight details! <laughs> when are we going back? I don't even know! <laughs> carry on! <laughs> We 
over complaining, we must admit that this view is absolutely worth it. Yeah, actually I thought like the midpoint was not so nice but when we came up yeah. here, it was quite amazing! And it's so nice to be out of the city. It was so peaceful even though we were exhausted. We are ready to go back to Busan <gasps> for dinner. Yeah. We have great news for you. As professional drone finder and footage finder of Singapore, we have managed to dig up the SD card from the fossilized drone that we found at the wetlands. And look, we have got live footage. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's check it out. Okay, so this belongs to a a beautiful a Korean couple. couple. No, we don't know if oh. they are Korean or not. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We don't. We are not yeah. sure. We are not sure. And they have got beautiful shots of the wetlands in in summer. In summertime, at the very same time, right? I really feel like this is their honeymoon footage because look at them breezing down the red field hand in hand, side by side. Yeah, and this uh, when we went. The reeds feel were brown, but yeah. this is what it looks like in summer. Yeah, and uh, based on Shah's investigative work, right, mm -hmm. this guy is actually a professional. professional! Because he's carrying a lot of other equipment, like the like gimbal. gimbal. And the drone is also not a basic drone, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So along with this set of footage, mm -hmm. we've also got other footage that Shah has found. And you know what? To honour their romance. Yeah, 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 for sure. To we pay have tribute to, to their holiday and to the places that we've never been, been yet, yet we, we will be traveling through <laughs> their eyes with a montage prepared <laughs> by Shah. <laughs> And couple A. Amazing, Amazing places. Wow, footages are I'm sorry. Yeah. I wish I was on their trip and Correct. not ours. Yeah. Okay. But unfortunately, um this thing took a death turn. Yeah, and based on our investigation, we are mm. now gonna reveal what happened to the drone in its last moments. Yeah, post mortem. So as you can see here, it was it going, going forward. forward through the reed fields. Yeah, at a very low level. I feel very bad for him because you know he's going low. I mean it's quite a nice shot. It is a beautiful I, shot. I really see the purpose and his intention yeah. of Okay, okay, here it comes. When it goes back, it goes back and that became the pro- OH! It hit the larang. It, <laughs> the reeds. Okay, and you think that's the end? It is not it, because yeah. this amazing drone actually captured some footages that no other drones can. This is absolutely rare footage, so I would like to uh, encourage the said unknown couple mm -hmm. that even at the death of your drone, it was fruitful because it got rare footage of, of mud, mud crabs. <laughs> yeah, no look, other look, look. drones would do this, you like, know. I mean, look, look at this. this. Yeah. When do you see mud crabs in the wetlands? Oh, look, oh, look, 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 look! He's traveling. He's He's not camera shy at all. Exactly. You know, one YouTuber's loss is another, another YouTuber's, YouTuber's treasure. treasure. And we've yeah. made good of your loss. Yeah, because as um, drone losters, losters ourselves, ourselves, we hope someone will do the same Correct. should they find our drone. Yeah. Yeah. So we are looking for the unknown couple who was who is the owner of this drone. If anyone knows who they are, please let us know. And for more details, right? Yeah. They actually lost their drone on 6th of August 2023. At the wetlands. At the wetlands. And the drone survived seven minutes before it died. Yeah. yeah. So we are very proud of ourselves. And uh, Nina, to close this segment, I just have one key line to say. Yes, please. We found love in, in a hopeless, hopeless place. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
After a three hour drive, we're finally here in Busan to try their traditional pork soup with blood sausage. Mm. Okay, so when we ate it, right, the first sip of the soup, right, was like close to tasteless. I was like, where's the flavor? Think of it as Japanese ramen, right? But 99% lighter. Or like two yeah. tang, but like no. Very milky. Yeah. So we had to add a lot of uh, seasoning. Like there, there's a chincha look like chili here and there's salt so we added a lot of that and then we also tried the blood sausage honestly for me the blood sausage is not a texture that I personally can accept oh. yeah. for me it was really quite confusing there's this like irony I mean it's blood you know um, but it's really an acquired taste yeah but I think the chef described it very well because it's like blood right with a blood taste and soap in soup <laughs> very accurate yeah, very accurate. Oh. yeah. I booked this place in Busan because when I saw the pictures on uh, the website, I was like, no way. So, this is my room. Mm -hmm. I think your room is a little bit different. Tell us more about your room first. <laughs> okay, so my room, check it out, has two queen size beds. Oh my gosh, with the like romantic lit like tap lighting at the back. Uh, it has this incredible view of Hyundai Beach. I mean, come on, that, this view alone. But the main point of this room is, ladies and gentlemen, check out this amazing hot tub that takes about one hour plus to fill because it is very, very big. But, wow, they really know how to enjoy life, you know what I mean? A hot tub, winter, facing the beach. Can you ask for more or not? Yeah, can we ask for more? Because every time we get a better room. I took this room to show. Ah. So your room is very different, man. Our room is very different. We are located on the worst level in this building because there is a poker room right outside our room. <laughs> okay? With alcohol and cigarettes right outside our our corridor only, you know. So I feel like you should check out this tea area because this tea area, right, will will it, it, they even have tea for you here. So I, I think my advice, my my advice here is that if you book the UH suite at the Hyundai, you need to book the picture that has this room. No one has the right to complain because they didn't book room for me, so this is why I slept. Don't complain, I already brought you all here. You are very demanding. Little by little, I feel the demands getting higher. No, not just that. Gummy Guess what? We are on the Queen Beetle, which is a JR Kyushu jet ferry that will get us to Fukuoka in about 3 hours 50 minutes. And we booked business class. But Nina has no idea! Do you have any guesses where we are going? Jeju Island? She guessed wrong already. Nina, we are going back to Fukuoka! <laughs> 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 because the last time we are, we only spent like one day there. And hopefully we'll get to see some cherry blossoms. Okay, we're late for immigration, let's go! We are on board the Queen Beetle, not just any beetle. And when you come on business class, there are basically two types of seats. One is the private one, which we've got. It's sort of like a booth where you can re recline almost all the way, enough to sleep. And they'll give you an amenity kit that has bathroom slippers, a L'Occitane hand cream, <laughs> and eye, eye shades. Also, all the vending machines on the business class level are free. And you can also get two free drinks at the bar. So upon entering, you get a box of Korean cookies as well. And so for round trip, we paid 126,000 yen on your trip. And you know what? Thankfully, I locked in my rates earlier at a very good rate. Was it 
dough. Okay, admittedly, right, it's a bit bumpy, but because it's high speed, so I think the speed contributes to the bump. But Nina slept all the way anyway. You know why I slept all the way? Why? Because first time in my life, I got motion sickness from this speed ferry. Uh, I think that the ambience and the I think this is a really great option if you want to tackle both Korea and Japan. You can do it under 4 hours and suddenly we are in Fukuoka. We're gonna do a simple experiment to show you why we insist on using U-Trip when we travel. So, when I exchanged my rates on U-Trip a couple of months ago, I got it at one Singapore dollar to 111.5 Japanese yen. And here is the screenshot for proof. Now, we're here at the money exchange machine. Let's go and check out the rates. Okay, so let's check out the rates at Simple Exchange. Singapore is just 95.26. Aiken, yeah. nobody changes at the machine because people usually change at the money changer. Mm. Even with that, mm. it's still 103.5 per SGD. <laughs> Which means YouTube is still higher. And what I love is that when the rates were really good, YouTube actually sent me a notification to tell me so that I could lock in the best rates a few months ago. Wow! So that means that you change a lot of Japanese yeah, a lot, a lot. So let's go and spend every last yen of yes, yours. Yes. Yes. Mine. We're dying to try this tuna shop, but when we reach, it says we don't accept credit cards. So in moments like this, it's time to draw money with YouTube. Okay, got it. So you can draw up to 400 Singapore dollars for free every month. Don't forget to use your YouTube card. Let's go. This tuna specialty shop is worth the four hour ferry from Busan. Wow. It's worth the motion sickness, worth the walk, worth everything. Yeah, it's so good. And it's tucked in like this little corner, right? And there isn't a queue. We walk straight in. There is like maybe about sitting for 10. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Shai and I are having the ultra premium bowl. It's got your lean cut of tuna, your fatty tuna, and then your tuna that has been aburi. And when you put each and every slice into your mouth, mm. it just melts. And then the minced tuna. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, but even though it's basic, right, it's good enough. Yeah. Like the tuna alone and the yeah. rice is yeah. enough. If you're the person who says you don't eat tuna because you've tried the tuna sashimi in Singapore, please, when you come to Japan, you have to order the tuna, especially if you're at a specialty shop. Super delicious. And if we're being honest, you know, when we eat other places, right, we order one portion just for the girls to share. This yeah. is a place where we did not. We ordered one portion. It's so good! We <laughs> see! We came all the way from Busan to Fukuoka because it's cherry blossom season! season! And it's looking like it's not really the season! It is looking like Nina's and mine's love life! life! That is not blooming! Dry and barren! Mm. But there's always a premature early bloomer. Oh! So, guess what? We found some cherry blossom. Let's go! I know what you're thinking, but... It's not this! Sakura! Sakura! Just kidding, it's not here, it's there. Our trip is not in vain! We finally see some cherry blossoms! Looks like there's hope for us! Wow! And our blooming life and all that! Beautiful! Because of its exclusivity, we got Sha to make you a, a montage. montage! Kill the Kill. montage! Okay, but jokes aside, we are here at Maizuru Park where the old Fukuoka castle was. Yes, and there are a thousand trees of about 20 types of cherry blossoms here. Mm. And we are so lucky and grateful because we got to see one tree of one type. And to honour that... Cue the one type! No, okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I found an amazing unagi restaurant. I dare say, best unagi that I've had. So I am having the pitsumabashi set, which comes with a mentaiko roll. The whole bottle, egg, egg set is slapped onto the unagi. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, how about you, Nina? I'm just having a mini version of Ethan set. Uh, mine comes without mentaiko, so for people who don't like mentaiko, they yeah. can also have the option of just eating uh, mm. the, the normal rice bowl. Uh. But it is a specialty in Fukuoka. Yeah, so if you, you come here, you have to try this one. Yes, and in case you do not know what uh, Hitsumobashi is, basically you can have the unagi don, right? And then you eat as much of it as you want. You save a little for the bowl here, and then you add the ochazuke into the so that it becomes like this like porridge dish at the end of your meal. That, that is so good. So good, right? So good. I just want to pour all over everything and eat. Yeah. So for the big set with the mentaiko, it's about five thousand yen. Worth it, lah. Worth it. It's, really it's so worth, worth it. it. Even though eel and pollock roll might be exotic to some people, we kind of know it's gonna be good. But then we found eel liver. Oh my god. I didn't know you got liver. <laughs> liver also. Exactly, me neither. And I did not know it looks like this. But it's quite big, eh, the liver. Okay, so in general, right, liver is the one singular thing in this whole world I do not eat. Really? I eat the deer penis, but I have not liked liver. Right. Yeah, you? Do you like liver? Yeah, actually, I, I generally eat almost everything. Like, oh, okay. I'm quite adventurous when it comes to food. Yeah, okay. So, try the liver. Okay, then. then okay. Ready, eat liver. Two, three. The end has the chewiness of your regular inner, but the liver itself has the creaminess of like a pate. No, it has the creaminess of like the crab butter. For people who like like crab roll or with yeah. the front head, right? Yeah. This is the one that you all will like. I this I finally found the first piece of liver that I like. This is really good eh? Yeah, I think I've had surprise also. It's amazing! We've come to the end of the video and this is the moment you've been waiting for because I'm gonna be personally transferring $500 worth of YouTube credits to one of your accounts. All you have to do is to comment down below where and how you got the best rates on YouTube. And I will be choosing the comments, so make it creative and let it catch my eye, alright? Okay, Nina, I dragged you all the way back to Fukuoka mm -hmm. to see the cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, so... We did, we did. Whoa! Just kidding! <laughs> okay, so um, what has been your thoughts about this trip so far? Honestly, right, mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed myself on this trip. I guess these are things that you don't do usually. Mm. Like the places that you guys put me through. I think that I probably won't do if I travel on my own. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. So I really love um, the itinerary simply because right, I love both nature and the city life. And I feel like these two places, right, give you a little bit of that, especially if you love the ocean. We are right by the coast for these two cities, right? Yeah. And who knew you could travel there by ferry? That was super, super cool. So I absolutely love it. What is your most favorite exotic food though? Honestly, it's the eel liver. Eh. That is something that like blew my mind. Yeah. And that's something that I've never tasted before. I mean like the octopus is also something I've yeah. never tasted before lah. But I think it's something that I really like. Like right. really enjoyed. Yeah, is the yeah, eel yeah, liver. yeah. Um, I know it's not that exotic but I love the golden duroc pork. One of my most favorite meals this year yeah, for that, sure. Yeah, that was good. That was yeah. very good. Okay, three, two, one. Everybody, <laughs> including Charlie's favorite exotic food. Okay. Three, two, one. Sea squid. Wow, I really don't know how to like it. Eh. I, I mean, I just salute the people who eat the medio duck. I don't even know if I like, saying that like, it's an acquired taste. Is the right yeah. word to use it or not? Yeah. But I'm glad we, we tried, we tried that it. because right, mm. one thing about traveling is to immerse ourselves in the culture yes. and culture equals to food. Yeah. Don't forget, this is the self-proclaimed season two of Carry On. So we are going to be having more episodes coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Kill the montage. No. <laughs> Kill the montage. Hurry.